Hello friends, this video on food production enhancement part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we ended our discussion of animal breeding. Now we will talk about apiculture. So apiculture as I told you was nothing but beekeeping. So maintenance of the uh, beehives created by the honey bees why in order to get honey so it is management of honey bees for production of honey for human consumption now honey is extremely useful it is it has a lot of medicinal uses a lot of medicines you will find honey as an ingredient it is also used in several food recipes so honey has very high nutritive value and that is why it is so important so we will see it. So what are the things that need to be taken care in order to manage the beehives well so that we can get the good quality honey of honey out of it. So successful beekeeping. Some of the points that should be remembered to ensure a successful beekeeping are knowledge on bees, nature and behavior. This is very important because when you are dealing with the honeybees, it is important to understand their life cycle, uh, their food habits, their behavior. So all those things you should have an idea about because without that you will not be able to manage it properly. Collecting group of bees. Now, in order to produce honey, you would have seen that each bee contribute a drop. And with each drop, over a period of time, you get a bottle of honey maybe. So, you actually need to collect a swarm of bees. You need a group of bees. A one bee alone cannot do anything. So, collecting a group of bees, maintain healthy bees. Now, that is again important because as you know, Whichever animal's product is being used for your consumption, so that product will be healthy only if that animal is healthy. So healthy bees need to be retained and how can you ensure that the bees are healthy? By allowing them to feed on their nectar and pollen. Now, many a times it has been seen that people in order to do some cost cutting or in order to get more honey out of that greed, they feed the honeybees in a solution of sugar water and they do not let them feed on their nectar but that affects their health in an adverse way. So they should always be allowed to feed on their nectar because if they are healthy they'll, give, they'll help us in giving more honey and the honey will also be of good quality. Now honeybees need a variety of food to maintain a very strong immune system. So the diet or the food that is provided to the honeybee should be proper so that they have a strong immune system and they remain healthy. Appropriate location to keep beehives that is also important because uh, it, it, the location should be such that it should be away from the environmental stresses which could actually have a negative impact on the beehives. Managing beehives in different climates. Again, climatic change also has an impact on the beehives. Now, sometimes there is a rainy season, sometimes summer, sometimes winters. So, every time the climate changes, the beehive should be managed in the right way so that it is not harmed. So, these are some of the things that should be kept in mind. Collection of honey. Now once the beehive is formed, the honey bee is also collecting the nectar and the honey is being formed. Now when it is time to collect honey, that should also be done in an appropriate way with people who have expertise in doing this. Now let us discuss about the last topic of animal husbandry and that is fishery. So let us now talk about fisheries. So fisheries will de deal with the management of fishes and other aquatic animals for human consumption. Now as I said that a lot of people, they consume fishes directly. So fish is like a staple food for them. So fishery is a growing industry where it gives employment to a lot of people. It gives food to another lot of people. So management of fishes and other aquatic animals fall under fishery. So in fishes also, when you talk about fishes, it, it is not only one or two types of fishes, there are varieties of fishes starting from uh, the, even the aquatic animals like crab, ponds, all these things also fall under the category of fishery. So here you can see this is a lobster. So this is also eaten by a lot of people. This is a prawn. This is again a crab 
and these are the various fishes and fishes also you have the marine water fishes you have the sea fishes so there are different varieties of fishes and each of them have a different taste each of them have got different nutritional content as well so management of different types of fishes and other aquatic animals fall under the category of fishery now importance of fisheries it provides employment to a lot of people because uh, those who catch fishes and sell them off in the market so it is a source of employment for them it improves the economy because when a lot of fishes are being used up in the country itself and then it also helps the country economically by exporting the fishes so it improves the economy fresh water and marine water fishes are both used as food as i said different types of fishes exist in different types of water some fishes prefer salty water for their survival some fishes prefer uh, the normal water so different types of fishes exist in sea as well as ponds and both of them are consumed by people so that is how fisheries also is very very important thank you please visit examfear.com for an easy four step learning process absolutely free of cost watch video lessons ask questions refer notes and take an online test thank you once again